Hi, boys and girls of Prince of Peace. It's Pastor Colmeyer, and of course, for Mrs. Colmeyer and Pastor Scott and Mrs. McAteer and Pedrito and Margarita, we all say we send our love to you. We're still, still saying Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And we want to connect with you on this video this week and to uh, let you know, again, how much we love you. We can't wait to see you. And yet we'll uh, be safe as long as we need to be safe. And that's okay. And that's good. Well, it's not just me who is here today, but our dear brother and friend Pedrito is here. Hi, Pedrito. Hola, El Pastor. It is great to see you. And you, you look marvelous. Aren't you special? Tell us about what you're wearing today. Well, the other day, Margarita, she found a box in the attic. It had a whole bunch of costumes in it. So she picked out this one and she said to me, Pedrito, this would be a good one for you to wear when you talk to the niños. It is all about the armor of God. The armor of God. Boy, did Margarita have a great idea. And again, you look marvelous in your armor. Gracias, Pastor. Shall we talk about what you have? You know, the Bible talks about the armor of God. Paul wrote to the Ephesians in chapter 6. And guess where Paul was when he was writing this? Do you remember where Paul was? Um, I am thinking maybe he was in jail. He was in jail. He was in prison and probably a Roman soldier was guarding him. And when Paul looked at that Roman soldier, he said, you know what? Uh, we've got much better protection and armor than a Roman soldier. We have God's armor on. And he kind of went through the armor and talked about what it was. It's uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, and it uh, starts at verse 10. It says, finally, my friends, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Well, how are we going to do that? It's not our strength and our might, but here's how we're going to do it. Put on the whole armor of God, and you will be able to stand against all your problems, all the things that can come against you. And then he said, goes down to verse 14, stand having put on the belt of truth. We can't quite see your belt there, can we? But I have one on and it says truth on it. Okay, you do have on the belt of truth. Wonderful. <laughs> and then this says the, the breastplate of righteousness and uh, you have on front of you, you have on your shield, don't you? I do. We could have fighting. Uh, of course, it, it, that would be for a soldier not to get hurt in, in the body. Uh, mm -hmm. And it says the soldiers, you, you are, we are, have the feet of uh, the gospel of peace on our feet. Uh, let me, well, I guess we can't see your feet, Pedrito. Sorry about that. Well, there was a problem because I couldn't, I couldn't walk when I put the, the sandals on. They were just too heavy. I, I couldn't even move, so I had to take them off. Okay, all right. All right. And then you do have the shield of faith. It is our faith in Jesus that he is strong. He is powerful. He died on the cross to forgive all of our sins and rose again that we too might have his power even to eternal life. That's our faith, and we believe it with all our heart. And you have on the helmet, the helmet of salvation. Salvation is the goodness that God wants to give us now and forever, that we belong okay. to I him. To you. May I show the helmet to you? I bend my head down. Yeah, so you show can... your helmet. Okay, here is the helmet of salvation. Wow. Woo. That's pretty good. Thank you. Pedro. And then, of course, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. This is our power. This is the Holy Bible. 
the B-I-B-L-E, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E, and that's what it is. That is our sword, and you sure have a good-looking sword there, don't you? I do. This is actually my favorite part. My favorite part. Put on yes. the whole armor of God. Margarita had a great idea. Do you have anything else you want to say, Pedrito? Well, I think that this armor protects us all through life, don't you? All through life, yes. What no matter comes? what happens, no matter what happens, we have that wonderful spiritual protection of all things. Good, good, good. I tell you what, Thank Pedrito, you. let's have our say back prayer, okay? Uh, uno momento, uh, oh, go ahead. Oh, I, yeah, that's right. I think you had told me that you had something else you wanted to add. Please go ahead. Well, I happen to think about a song I learned a long time ago. It's called I'm in the Lord's Army. And this is how it goes. Do you, oh. May I sing please? Okay. Oh, please do. Please sing it. I bet you know this one too, El Pastor. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly on the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are all in the Lord's army. Yes, we are. Good, good, good. Let's say our say back prayer. Thank okay. you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesus. For loving us so much for loving us so much. Thank you, Jesus. Gracias, Jesus. For being our strong protector. For being our strong protector. Thank you. Gracias. That we can put on the whole armor of God. That we can put on the whole armor of God. And be protected and safe and be protected and safe. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Make good decisions. Make good decisions. So we stay safe and healthy. So we stay safe and healthy. In this time of the virus. In this time of the virus. Be with all the people. Be with all the people. Who are helping the sick people who are helping the sick people and help the sick people get well and help the sick people get well in your name jesus we pray in your name jesus we pray amen amen okay boys and girls it's great to connect with you pastor scott's doing a great job with his videos i hope you and your family are watching those uh, even as uh, we film this on Tuesday, we'll send it out on Wednesday, but I know Pastor Scott uh, is developing a Tuesday evening Bible study. So parents, you uh, get in on that, and kids, you get in on that as much as you can. And uh, we pray for Pastor Scott and his leadership to, as he is our pastor, even in these tough times. So we're thankful for him. Okay, Pedrito, tell the boys and girls goodbye. Well, my helmet there fell off, but that's okay. <laughs> I saw that. It's okay. Just, I say, adios, niños, adios. See you next week. And adios, amigos. God loves you, and so do we. See you next week. Bye-bye.